Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna analyze the Bitcoin price and we're gonna see if we're gonna see continuation here to the upside or are we retracing back down here to where we were before this nice pump that we had yesterday. But before we start I want to show you a little nice casino exchange that I found in the internet and currently I'm also trying it out a bit because this exchange here is similar like Bybit or Femex where you can easily double your money but you can also lose everything but the difference here is that you don't bet on the price so you're just betting here on how the candles are closing so for example here in the one minute time frame you can bet if every single candle is closing in green or in red and here it is very very easy to put bitcoins in it and also to withdraw so you can really instant put some money here you can start to trade immediately and also withdraw it because the gains that you're doing here you will get them instantly and the first thing that you have to do here once you register to this exchange you don't need KYC nothing just an email address and that's it if you want to open up an account here if you want to try it out then use the link that you find down below here in the video description and very easy first step select the time frame you can go here on the exchange and up here on the right corner you can select if you want to trade the one minute time frame five minute 50 minute and so on I think the more funny time frames are here the one minute and five minute because like this you can know instantly if you are able to double your money or not and you always see here the upcoming round so before the round is starting you have to put your bet so let's say that in the next minute the candle will be red so we're gonna put here 0 0.5 mbtc so this is not bitcoin 0 0.9 it is mbtc that means that one mbtc is like 0 0.001 Bitcoin so around 1 MBTC is around $10 and we're gonna bet right now that the next candle the next one mini time frame candle will be again in red so we can click here in lower and your bet has been placed so with the next live round my bet will be in there you can see that right now my bet is in here with a 1.75x leverage so the multiplier is almost uh, um, 2x and here if this candle is going to close in red if this one mini candle is going to close in red in 40 seconds i will double the money almost double the money it's a 1.75x and i get it instantly here into my account up here and with this money you can use of course to trade again to bet again or you can instantly withdraw it so it is very easy and, and a nice exchange if you want to gamble a bit so if you don't want to trade too much money for example on Bybit or Femex and you have to deal with take profits the price stop losses leverage and so on here you can just try it out just put in your bet and you can double or lose everything so it is instantly and very easy to uh, trade here so you don't have to do much things you just have to bet here so you can see that I have one uh, 0 0.84 um, MBTC and immediately I have it here into my account so you can see from nine dollars I have now 1370 because my bet was on the right side so if you want to try it out it's quite fun it's like a casino exchange where you can easily of course uh, double your money but it's also risky because you could lose everything if you're betting uh, on the wrong side so if now the candle would have been in green I would have lost these uh, five dollars and um, yeah if you want to try it out very easy something new I discovered it a couple of days ago and uh, so far I like it because uh, it's really easy and you know it instantly if you won or not so you don't have to keep like a life a trade or anything like that for hours or for days here you can really choose what time frame you want to trade and uh, of course the one minute is a bit risky but if you want to trade like the more safer ones then maybe trade the five minute or the one hour time frames those time frames are a bit easier to calculate than the one minute the one minute time frame it's really a bit uh, casino 
All right, guys, and now let's start with the content. This was just a little thing that I wanted to show you because currently I'm also trading a bit over here. It's quite funny, but always with small amounts. I wouldn't take too big amounts here. Of course, you can easily make from $1,000, $2,000, but it's also just fun if you want to gamble a bit to just play with $10 or anything like that. All right, so let's start now here in the one hour time frame in the Bitcoin price because currently after this top that we had here of almost $11,000 yesterday, I also mentioned it in my live stream over on Twitch that here most likely we will start a pullback to test the new support of $10,800 and then maybe see continuation to the upside. And so far we are having this little consolidation here. I still think we have some room left to the upside but of course, if $10,800 will not hold, then most likely we will come back down here, also where the 200 moving average is lining up here at around 10,660 and then potentially also go lower. But so far it looks quite healthy and it looks like that we're gearing up for another big move to the upside. RSI is above the 50 level in the one hour. Bollinger Band is squeezing here in this little tiny channel here after overshooting it to the upside. So in theory, we should see here another big breakout to the upside side the only problem is that we have KST and MACD now shifted to the downside, which of course is not good for the one hour time frame. So if we are losing this $10,800 support and we're starting to close hourly candles below this price level, then this could be dangerous because in that case we could easily drop again towards $10,500. And if we compare it to the DXY, here you can see that currently we are losing the support that we have here, this blue trend line. And of course that is very bearish for the DXY and bullish for the Bitcoin price but the one hour is looking like that here we're gonna have a big bounce to the upside we are very oversold here so I'm expecting here a push to the upside in the DXY and that of course could lead into a correction in the Bitcoin price and if we go over into the four hour you can see that currently the 20 moving average is right here at our support of $10,800 and also the RSI after being overbought here is cooling off here a bit so I'm expecting a possible pullback back down here towards this area, potentially even lower than $10,800 before maybe we are gearing up for a test of $11,150. This is where I'm expecting to have the next big resistance. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band in the four hour, you can see that we overshooted it yesterday and currently we have a retracement back down to the middle line. So between here $10,800 and potentially $10,700. The good thing is that the KSC and MACD are still shifted to the upside, so the momentum is clearly bullish here. Only stochastic is overbought, so here that's why I'm expecting a possible pullback down to those levels. And also compare it to the DXY, you can see that here we are bouncing from the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame, which of course is good for the DXY. Most likely we're gonna have a bounce towards the 20 and 50 moving average to retest this area. And if this is getting confirmed to be new resistance in the DXY, most likely we're gonna have the opposite in the Bitcoin price. We're gonna confirm that 10,800 to 10,700 is the new support and from there have a big bounce to the upside. Because I think if the Bitcoin price is ready to break also 11,150, therefore we can go to the daily time frame because here you can see this blue trend line is the connection from the last two tops that we had in the daily and if we're able to break out from this structure right now so from this 11,150 resistance then I think we will have a big rise up in the Bitcoin price and most likely also take out here this $12,500 top that we had currently. I'm still leaning a bit more in the scenario that most likely we will stay within this falling wedge here before we maybe break out to the upside, but it can happen already now if the bulls are coming in right now and also we're gonna have a big fall in the DXY because here in the Bitcoin price we are above the 50 level in the RSI which is bullish and if we have a look into the DXY here you can see that we are trading between the 20 and 50 daily moving average and if the 50 is getting lost here if this $93 support is getting lost we could fall here towards this $91 and this of course will lead into a big rise up in the Bitcoin price and also overall in the stock market we will see a big push to the upside because here the DXY was a bit overbought and it looks like that we're having now a major correction to the downside and of course that will be very bullish for the Bitcoin price. RSI is also losing the 50 
level support so in theory here in the daily we are bearish in the dxy and although if we zoom out we are clearly in a downtrend here we are trading below the 200 daily moving average so even if we see a rise up towards this moving average we will remain bearish here for the longer time frames and now go, let's go back into the bitcoin price and open up the Bollinger Band in the daily because here currently you can see the top is right here at $11,000 and that's why this is a very important price level to get broken in order to go very bullish. As long as we're trading below $11,000 there is still a high risk that we could retrace at any time soon again towards $10,700 and possibly even lower. The bottom here currently is at $10,300. 40. So we are in a very interesting time right now. This pump that we had yesterday is a very good sign, but of course we are not out of the woods yet. So because of this breakout that we had yesterday from this $10,800 resistance, we don't have the confirmation yet that we have the bull run confirmed and we will go straight to 20k right now. No, we have to wait also that $10,800 gets confirmed that this is new support and also that we are able to break this resistance here at 11,150. Only then I think it's confirmed that we will go at least to retest at 12,500 and then most likely gonna also break it. But for the moment here in the lower time frames I'm still expecting here a pullback even though we came already down very close to $10,800 but the 1 hour and 4 hour are still telling me that most likely we will remain in this area here and test the $10,800 before we're gearing up for another big move to the upside. And also today is a Friday so we're gonna have to see how the weekly candle is gonna close. And I'm very curious this weekend also what will happen because weekend is always a play time and it looks like that we're gonna close another nice green candle here in the weekly. So above the 20 weekly, above the 15 the RSI and even here in the Bollinger Band you can see that we are fighting again here the first moving average here at $11,000 and this is really the last step before shooting up here towards $12,200 which is also the top here of the Bollinger Band. But as I told you my friends we are still trading here between these two moving averages and as long as we're not having a weekly close below or above we cannot really tell if we're gonna see big moves to the upside or big moves to the downside. We still have to wait for these uh, weekly candles and the problem here in the weekly is only that the MACD and KSD are shifted to the downside right now and um, the stochastic is oversold so here we should expect a big bounce to the upside so let's see how we're gonna close this weekly candle this weekend all right guys and with that said they're gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to moon up the like subscribe to the channel also feel free to join my discord trading chat is completely for free there you can also get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals and also please join my live streams over on Twitch. We are doing still the live streams over there. And of course if you want to trade the Bitcoin and other assets use the links that you find down below here to the recommended exchanges. Those are the ones that I'm also using for trading. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.